Hi, I'm Steve Harris. I'm a life and business strategist, and boy, do I have a surprise for you. I'm going to be reading very briefly from my book, From Friend to Fiance, and it simply says how to get him to want you without letting him know that you want him to want you. Girl, I'm going to say that again. How to get him to want you without letting him know that you want him to want you. You ready? You ready for this? Stay with me. So I'm going to read just an excerpt, okay? And it's secret number 18. And it simply says, these two rooms in his house, the kitchen and the bedroom, signify commitments to him. So be careful how you cross these boundaries. Let me wear my glasses for this one. Nothing screams red alert. She's proposing a merger, but this is an acquisition. Then when you begin to get into a guy's personal space. A toothbrush here and a sleepover bag there is way too overt and will alert him to your schemes. You've got to be more subtle. While his kitchen might be the least used room in his apartment, and he's probably never used a gas cooker before, you don't want to commandeer that space and mark your territory. It's going to raise a red flag. Of course, I'm not suggesting that you both starve to death. It's a delicate balance, once again, because you're damned if you do, and sometimes you're damned if you don't. You've got to sit on the fence for this one. You don't want him taking advantage of your generosity. Now, I know that they say that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach, but you don't want to overdo it. Sure, you can surprise him with a bite or two so that he knows what he's missing if he doesn't propose, and your food better be good, by the way, or else the deal's off. Now, don't make it a habit to cook his meals. You want to know if he's in it for the free meals with you as the highly anticipated main course, or he really likes you as a human being. Now, moving through the floor plan, we eventually come to the most significant room in the house, his bedroom. That is, if his whole house isn't actually the bedroom. However tempting the prospect might be, you don't want to lose any leverage by getting between his sheets. Men are pretty much rational, logical beings. Well, that is until illicit sex is involved, and then we shut off our logic and reasoning and operate with pure, unbridled lust and when the deed's done, our logic comes back on and all we can probably say is, we're sorry. His heart probably is, but the other part of his anatomy isn't. Sadly, most men have a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am approach to sex, and then it's on to the next conquest. Thankfully, you're not wired that way. You equate sex with commitment. So, until he's committed to have and to hold, until death do you part, it's no sex for either of you. Here's the sad irony of life. Most ladies want a relationship without sex, but most men want sex without a relationship. I believe it was my friend, Dr. Farrah Gray, that put it so eloquently when he said, Cinderella lost her slipper, not her virginity. You don't need to have sex to find your prince. Done.